2010 MacBook Pro left and right speaker replacement. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. The back cover is attached with 10 Phillips head screws. Start with the 7 short screws first, starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Next, the 3 long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Please note that the right speaker is under the DVD drive while the left speaker is under the logic board. DVD drive removal. Disconnect the speaker and the Wi-Fi cables. Remove the two Phillips head screws securing the speaker. There is one on each side. Move the speaker to the side. You can now remove the three Phillips head screws that are securing the DVD drive. Remove the Wi-Fi cable bracket that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. One of the screws is attached to the Wi-Fi cable. Pull it out. Lift and remove the drive. Right speaker and subroof for removal. Peel back the keyboard button tape. This will allow you to separate the Wi-Fi cable from the speaker cable. With tweezers, get underneath and pry out the speaker. It's slightly glued in to the case. You can now remove it. Right speaker and subwoofer reinstallation. The same way it was removed, reinsert the speaker and lay it down. There should be enough ad adhesive left for it to stick. Reconnect the Wi Fi cable to the speaker. DVD drive reinstallation. Place the drive in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Secure the drive with three Phillips head screws on the left side at the top and at the bottom. One Phillips head screw in the back. Reinstall the Wi-Fi cable bracket. It is held in with two Phillips head screws. Place the speaker back into position and secure it with two Phillips head screws, one on each side. You can now connect the speaker. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive and any other cable that came apart during this installation. Logic board removal. Unscrew the three T6 fan screws but leave them in place. You can now lift up the fan and disconnect it. 
disconnect the speaker then the Wi-Fi cable the DVD drive and the hard drive now the trackpad next the keyboard make sure to flip up the keyboard latch before disconnecting it lift up the latch on the backlight as well disconnect the battery light indicator pry back and disconnect the LVDS cable remove the seven logic board T6 screws Remove the LVDS bracket that's held in with two Phillips head screws. This is a very important step. Use tweezers to pry back the glued in microphone. Make sure that the microphone is loose. You can now lift up on the logic board, but be careful, there's one more connection. Flip it over, disconnect the DCN power board. The logic board is now free. Left speaker removal. Begin by peeling back the connection tape on the speaker and on the microphone. Go ahead and unplug the speaker. Trays down and remove the microphone. The speaker is glued in onto the logic board. Go ahead and pry it out with tweezers. It's okay to tear the glue. left speaker reinstallation reconnect the microphone loop it underneath the speaker cable Reconnect the speaker. Put the microphone into the speaker. Trace it along the speaker side. Place back the protective tape. Logic board reinstallation. Reconnect the DCN power board first. At an angle, USBs first. Reinsert the logic board in. Prying all of the cables out of the way. Gently drop the board in. Pry out any of the block cables with tweezers. Reinstall the seven logic board T6 screws. Reinsert the fan 
and screw it in with three T6 screws. Reconnect the fan to the logic board. Reinsert the LVDS cable bracket and screw it in with two Phillips head screws. Reinsert the LVDS cable. Be careful, you can damage the socket. Make sure to lock it in. Reconnect the battery indicator. Reconnect the speaker. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive, then the hard drive, then the trackpad. Make sure that the eyelash is up and reconnect the keyboard backlight. Slide it in and lock in the lash. Now reinsert the keyboard. Again, make sure that the latch is up. This can take some time. Use tweezers to help you. Once the keyboard is reinserted, make sure to push down on the eyelash. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with 10 Phillips head screws. 7 short screws first starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the 3 long Phillips head screws in the top. 